joined here today by the lovely Lena. Um, so I'll just give us a quick intro, Lena. I don't know if you want to say hey, say hello to all the other marketeers. Hello. <laughs> Lena's been an absolute gem, um, rocking her own business, starting from absolute scratch four months ago, right? When you first started yes. working with me and the team. Yes. Right. And now you're uh, sitting at what? So uh, right now, after four months, I have uh, five clients, happy clients, and I'm, I just hit uh, like 3,000 euro a month. And I'm happy and I'm, I just quit my call center job. So I'm now Woo! free and full-time marketeer. Victory, <laughs> yeah. win, awesome. Lena, yeah. congratulations, first of all, obviously from myself and the, the rest of the team here. Um, and I'd just like to, first of all, thank you as well for taking some time out of your day, out of your, I'm sure, busy day now, um, mm -hmm. or perhaps less busy than it used to be when you were juggling both things, um, to yeah. speak to us about your journey and hopefully, you know, uh, inspire other people as well to follow in the same footsteps. And so let's start right at the beginning, Lena. You said you were working in a call center. Can you just give us a little bit of an introduction to yourself, your background, where you live in, what you've been doing there, and just tell us a little bit about you, please? Okay, so, well, I'm 29 years old. Uh, I'm from Germany originally. Maybe you'll get the accent. And so right now I'm living on Tenerife, Canary Islands. I just moved. I just love Spain. I've been, in, I've been living in Spain for... Uh, over 10 years now. I just love it, the climate, and the Canary Islands have the best climate, never too hot, never too cold. So I wanted to live here, but basically I'm a yoga teacher, but in Spain, well, the salaries are not too high. It's a bit difficult to get enough money by only teaching yoga. So I was a bit frustrated in that. So I had to look for, let's say, normal job, and I ended up in a call center. And that was the first option I got. As you imagine, when you heard also James' story, it's more or less the same everywhere. You have low salary, long hours working, shifts, and uh, no appreciation. And at the end, I was stuck there somehow. And um, yeah, but it was the moment when Corona came, the, the crisis, and we had to go to home office. And in the home office, I started to, had to reflect more on myself, to meditate more, to have more time for myself. And that uh, when I notice in the meditation that I have to change something, that I have to do something that is, I don't want to live like this forever. And then I just saw the ad. <laughs> I did an abundance meditation. I said, okay, I need somehow a new project, more money. And then it's when I saw the ad on YouTube and I, I just gave it a try. Like how long have you been into yoga and meditation and all of these things? Well, I started when I was 14, basically was doing yoga, sun salutations, basic. And then with 22 and 3, I did the yoga teacher training. I also did the Ayurveda, Ayurveda consultant training. So, yeah, I got into it. And that was also another point that when you have a full-time job, and especially in a call set, and there was all the shifts, I usually I practice a lot of yoga. I do like I want to do. I would like to do two hours a day at least. But with this job, I n I never could. So I was really frustrated as well. And now I really enjoyed this first week, and <laughs> I can just put the time, my practice, and everything. It's so it's so gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> like a lot of people don't see these connections of personal development and being successful in your own business, in your own career. But I think for you and, and me as well, this is shared that we see a very strong um, tie between like, especially when you're working for yourself and, and you are the business, right? If you don't look yeah. after you, your business is going to suffer, right? And that's yeah. a very strong, you know, point that we talk about a lot um, with people that, that work with us ultimately. So it's great that we, uh, that we obviously share that. How do you think that's positively impacted the success that you've seen in just a few short months working with me, starting your own business? Well, it, how do you think it's helped? It was so important. And I would also to underline that I, I've done other courses. I tried other courses, but this point that you have with the mindset is so, so important. So I would always say, uh, tell people, so, do this mindset stuff, think about, meditate, do whatever, read good books, somehow do personal development, it's so important. And it changed also my perspective a lot in this last month. 
that's interesting. So what, what had you tried courses online, maybe to start a business of your own? What had you tried and how did that go? I tried uh, like a general online course without any community, just like a pre-recorded online course. And it was also more about SEO and things like blogging. I started, I tried blogging before, but like, okay, you don't have any support. You don't have anything that is telling you, anyone that's telling you about mindset. It's just like a theory about this, this and this step, but you get lost at the end. I got lost. I said, okay, I don't know how to go on. And then you get to a point where you don't know if it is if you're doing the right thing and at the end I, I just skipped got it so what's different about why why is deciding to work with me um and the team obviously around us um and joining the lifestyle marketer like how why is that different what's that given you that perhaps a, an online course without community without coaching without mentorship without peers around you why is it different why have you now got a different result than perhaps what you had without all of those things? The community, the community is, uh, is basic that you have really the people, the mentors there that help you all the time. And I put uh, the questions there and you get immediate answer, really quick answers The people are so active. You see the wins. So it's really motivating. And even if you have a bad day, you always think, like, okay, I can always ask in the group if I don't know how to go on and, Usually it helps. You touched on the success that you had, five paying clients, all happy clients, uh, $3,000 a month. Um, what type of clients and businesses have you been working with? So basically, I've cho as I'm a yoga teacher, uh, for now, I've only chosen uh, also yoga businesses because that was also another point that is really, I really love about the training that you can choose the client. It's not that you have to work with a client. If you're working for business. And so you have to work with this kind of, no, you can choose the client. So I really, I love to work. These are all yoga businesses, spiritual businesses. And I really love to work with them. So for the beginning now, I really enjoy it. So like every meeting is not only business. It's so, it's so much more. So it's really nice. Awesome. So let, let's compare and contrast. Now, how is life different now after just three or four months of really, you know, nose to the grindstone in your own business? How has your personal life, how has your life now changed? And mm -hmm. how do you feel about that? Well, in terms of lifestyle, of course, I feel well, now that I quit the job, it's uh, so much more fun. I can go out, I can go to a nice cafe, looking at the sea and working for my laptop. And it's, uh, it's so cool. I just enjoy it. I all this freedom. And of course, it's like, it's, it's more than this. It's also an overall feeling when you feel that you have your own business and you yourself, you did it. Like you, you're doing the work. Like it's just also the self-confidence. I just feel that before yeah you're in the call center you're like nobody you know you're like okay mm -hmm. and it's like it's it's a whole it's another feeling like now i'm much more confident that i'm really able to achieve something in life so that's really nice what does your like daily schedule look like typically lena what what time do you wake up and what do you do all day that you would have perhaps had to go to work and do otherwise how does that look yeah so before I had to go uh, wake up really early, usually, and uh, then so at like about five in the call center. And then I, I had like no more, usually I had no time. I had maybe time to do 20 minutes of something, uh, of a, uh, exercise or whatever. So now I can wake up at seven. And first I go and do some yoga, some sun salutations. Then I look at the sunrise. I really enjoy it looking at the sunrise and the mountains and the sea and then i can have a walk maybe have uh, do some exercise uh, running in the park or in the nature like having like this first hour i also mm. I, I stick also to uh, your transformation tuesdays you were speaking about your schedule so i really loved it and i try to take this first hour for myself just exercise or do yoga and then start working some hours then have the lunch break how much work do you do per day? How much have you been doing? Like, uh, honestly, how much have you been doing to get to where you are now over the last three or four months? And what was that like alongside your, your full-time call center the, job? The last months was also hard. I, I had some hard times. Of course, yeah. uh, you come back uh, eight after eight or nine hours even 
working and then you have to sit down and at night or on the weekends. I usually was talking to my client, I was telling my clients, oh, I only have weekends to do a new campaign. So mm. now it's, uh, now, now I can take an, a day off. No, now I can uh, choose where, when sure. to work. No. What, what were the challenges, Lena? You mentioned that there were challenges as there always will be. What, what were the challenges that you personally faced and how did you overcome them? Well, some moments of motivation, like when you're just starting and it looks like you're, you're, you're doing all your daily workflow and you don't get any response for some time or you're doing uh, strategy sessions with clients and you don't close the sales. You have like some time or weeks that you yes. don't close any sales and then you think like, oh, maybe this is not working and you have some motivation thing or don't believe in yourself, but then you just stick to whatever meditation or going to the community and uh, yeah, try to go back, step back have, on the ladder. <laughs> have you read The Slight Edge? Yes, uh, yeah, I ordered it how, and I love it. How impactful, how impactful was that book? massive as well so i really recommend it to everyone and it's really a massive impact life-changing all these small disciplines really focus on your small steps that's what i always say to people okay just take one step start with one step if you really feel down okay one step more one step more and it's really helping what would you say to those people who are perhaps looking up at that mountain now wondering whether they can do it right it, now you're there it all starts with the first step and just focus on this first step and okay, okay, what will I do today? What can I do today? So that's the only thing that matters and you do it today and then you do it tomorrow again and yeah. you just every day. That's why the meditation is so great. You can sit in the morning and you have like, the, you think about what will I do today? So what is important today? Don't get um, lost in all this and not important things like the small details like, oh, I have to call or chat or whatever gossip and no, just stay focused on what are your goals. And every day you sit down for five minutes and you just focus and take one step and so Absolutely. on. Definitely. And what, and what, what would you say to yourself now, you know, when you were thinking about working with me and you, you probably naturally had some skepticisms about like, who's this mm. guy? on the internet who talks a lot about personal development and, and making mm -hmm. money, starting a business, like who is this guy? And um, when you were thinking like that, which I'm sure a lot of people um, you're potentially who are watching this are now, um, what would you say to yourself at that point when you were battling maybe with the, those um, voices in your head or those mm -hmm. skepticisms that were potentially just holding you back? What would you say to that person, which was you, all those people who are sitting there right now, yes. now you're where you are. I always like the phrase you said, and you say, okay, think about it. What would be scarier when you look at yourself and you think about yourself in 10 years, think about yourself now where you are, are you happy? So if you're not happy, then something is not right with your mind. You know? Like you have, you're not focused correctly in your mind. That's all. You just have to focus right on what you want and then you go for it. And think about yourself in 10 years, you would be in the, uh, you'd like to be in the same position. It would be scarier or you would just, okay, maybe you spend some savings and that's the other part. Okay. What is scarier? Some savings or being in the same situation, boring situation, whatever, frustrating situation and looking at yourself like this in 10 years. No. So for me, yeah. of course, it was more scarier to look at myself and say, oh my God, I will be in 10 years in the call center still and doing the same stuff and so yeah good so now how does it feel now that like the trajectory and path that you're on what's next where are you going to go from here mm -hmm. what do you plan on doing over the next six months right it's only been three or four months which is the crazy thing and everything's changed yeah. Like, yeah. what are you going to do now over the next six months what what are you working towards where do you want to be in six months time well i feel like yes really to get on more clients work is go on working, getting more clients, hitting that next goal, maybe uh, 5K, <laughs> then afterwards, maybe 10K, whatever. No, I feel like everything. And there are so many possibilities. I can, I can explore so many things that's so interesting. It's so exciting. And then my dream would be to really get some savings and then have also more time for my own yoga pro project and take this, everything I learned into a yoga project 
where I can also think about maybe my own retreat center or something like this. Wow. So working, you know, making the decision to actually invest in yourself, back yourself, put in the work, get your own business off the ground, learn new skills that that's not only benefited your, you immediately now by leaving your job, but your future as well. Right. It mm -hmm. sounds like you now have the option and the skills and the ability to do something that you've always wanted to do, but maybe never felt, never had the, the tools to actually do it. Yeah. How does that, how does that feel with you? Well, we'll kind of finish there. This is my last, last question. What's that like now to, to feel like you've got control over your own? Just a great feeling. And I'm, I'm such a creative person. And it's like when you're in such a boring job, let's say, you feel like all your, all your energy, all your possibilities, all everything is like just locked down somewhere. And, and now I feel like I can finally express myself, get some creative projects, whatever, and do whatever I want. So there's, it's a feeling like there's no limit at all. It's and Lena, <laughs> one of the obvious things that you mentioned earlier, you're not a native English speaker. Yeah. And you've done all of this in a non-native language. So again, yeah. if there's anybody watching who's questioning, can I do this? Uh, you know, I'm from Spain, Germany, France, wherever, you know, European countries. Typically, Lena is proof to the pudding. Lena, have you have you done this working with English client, English speaking clients or with German speaking clients? Both. It's like half and half. I have some right now. One is South Africa, America, UK, and then the other I'm from Austria and Germany. So I got mixed a bit, uh, but it's well, no problem. I, and I improved, of course, and listening to all of your videos. And so it, it's uh, improved as well. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're, you're an inspiration to so many. And I, I, again, just want to take the time, Lena, to say thank you so much for jumping on, admittedly a little bit early. Uh, thank you for, uh, for jumping on as well early um, and sharing your story. Very inspirational, very motivational. Um, I'm delighted to, to obviously work with you now and continue working with you and help you get to that next stage as well. So any final words for anybody watching or have you said enough? Just think um, uh, abundant, be the abundance and that's all. <laughs> and it will come. <laughs> and it all comes down to that. What's that? That's mindset again, right? The way that yeah. you think, thinking like a successful person, successful business person, so you can become a successful business person. Um, Lena, thank you very, very much for your time massive congratulations super excited to watch where you go uh, over the next few months um i'm mm -hmm. keeping tabs on you as always please do let me know and let us know in the group how you get on over the coming months all right thank you very much for your time lena goodbye from thank you me. <laughs> bye everybody bye-bye <bye. laughs>